so well. We need to do it for our actual literal neighbors. Be friends. Be good neighbors. Love them. Help them. Listen to them. And then bring Christ in. Introduce them. Be the sycamore tree who lifts up your Zacchaeus so Jesus and them can eat. We all need to go find the Zacchaeus, find the woman in our world, and they're not hard to find. As soon as you open your door, they're there. Now, don't be like the Jews of old who shun them. Be like the child of God you are and be a neighbor, a helping neighbor, a loving neighbor, a listening neighbor. <coughs> because they are crying for it. They are earnestly crying, and you may not hear it, but they are. And Fred Rogers knew it well. And that is why we know this one little ditty of a song, which expresses the cry of the world to us. Would you be mine? <coughs> Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please, won't you be my neighbor? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we know, we've heard what it says to be a, a good Samaritan, like a neighbor. But do we know how? I hope this morning, through the presentation of your word, that we've learned to create those open spaces to you notice the uniqueness about each individual. Learn from them. Listen to them. And help them go deeper. Help us to be those sycamores. Help us to raise up others. Not just on a whim or on occasion. But every moment, finding that next Zacchaeus, that next woman at the well, and lifting them up, not merely because you told us to, but because we love them just as much as you do. And all this we pray. Amen. Shall we stand and sing 471? Is that correct? Yeah.